Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Joomla on web hosting server using cPanel. So before we get started with this Joomla installation on web hosting server, there are a few things we want to make sure are in place. So very first thing, go ahead and look for the select PHP version. You can see this is Namecheap uh, web hosting interface and I'm using paper lantern theme for this. CPU. So no matter what uh, web hosting company you are with, if you're using cPanel, the interface is going to be almost very similar. So look for this PHP version selector and go ahead and select PHP version. You can just type here or if you can just scroll up and down, you will find it. So go ahead and click on it. So make sure you got PHP 7.3 set as a default PHP version for this installation from here. And you also need my uh, my SQLI. So SPDO is installed here for SQL. It requires a different okay my SQLI here I hit this one. So this is basically extension that Joomla uses to connect with database. So make sure you got this enabled, okay? Redis, uh, other things seem fine. SSS, SSS, SSS H2, what is that? Now SSS is fine, but two I'm not aware about. So now let's go ahead and install Joomla now. So to install Joomla, look for this soft Qless apps installer. It may be on the very top. If it's not, go ahead and just scroll down at the very bottom and you will see it says soft Qless apps installer. Look for Joomla or simply click on this portals and CMSs, CMS, CMS. So click on it or click on Joomla, both are same thing. Now you will see other similar CMSs out there that are available on this page. Just click on this Joomla thing. Now here you can go ahead and have a look at the demo or you can to install it simply click on install. Now it's very fast and this is quick installer and what it does it selects the most latest version of Joomla here. You can go ahead and choose the older one if you would like to but, but for security reasons I would always go with the latest one. Then go ahead and select the protocol HTTPS is going to be my preferred one and when you install any CMS or any other package with on this particular server Namecheap server you get SSL free for each installation up to 50 installations okay so that's configured automatically the next thing you do go ahead and select your domain name that you want to use for this Joomla installation and then go ahead and give it a name so a job I'm just going to give it a job dot org job description is mandatory so go ahead and write your description for this site import data we're going to have blog data in English very important thing a lot of people go with just admin as an admin username I would never recommend it. Go ahead and choose a very unique admin name and password as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep these both things on a different page uh, file so that I don't forget it. All right, so these are two things in place. Now go ahead and type your real name, the author's real name. Working email address. This will be your author's email address. And whenever you need to reset password, this will be required. Okay. Now the other thing, select the language. And the next thing, you can go ahead and change the name of the database table prefix for the data uh, then you can go ahead and select when you want the backup to take place so once a week is going to be enough at a default location 
and whenever there is an update or backup is saved you will receive an email notification to this email address and also the installation details will be sent out to this email address so make sure it's correct and working now before you hit install button go ahead and make sure everything is in place and the way you want it to be everything seems perfect to me I can go ahead and hit install and you can see it's going to take just a minute maximum and you will have your Joomla 3.9.19 ready still this HTTPS thing is being installed it takes time up to 10 minutes and you can see it's not installed I'm getting some error with this with the browser Google Chrome so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this Firefox so Firefox should work Oops, it's taking a bit longer so go ahead and launch your Firefox browser and have this Joomla and that's the Joomla basically so Joomla is installed you can see very fast my friend now we will go to administrator so simply go ahead and type administrator okay so a job admin then we have a password here so make sure you got your unique admin name and password and that's your Joomla dashboard admin area some basic statistic once okay once is enough now this is how it looks like you can go ahead and manage your templates language and this is about language again configuration modules menu uh, your content so that's it for this video if you have any question suggestion leave in the comment below I will try to answer it ASAP thanks for watching this video bye for now